All right, welcome back, guys, to the channel. Um, so today I kind of want to go over uh, kind of a mindset behind uh, creating the landing page, showing you um, the back end, how um, mo my goal is going to be, right? When I when I create the landing page, what my um, client is going to go through on the page, and then how we're going to capture the information that we need to capture in order to give that to the business owner. So that's the goal today, kind of give you guys the whole kind of a uh, map view of how that looks. Um, and then after we're going to then create the web, uh, the website, the landing page, and we'll go over that too. So, all right, guys. So let me got, share you here my, uh, my uh, page here really real quick. Hold on a sec. All right. So here we go. Um, so this is the top of the funnel. This is what I call a top of the funnel um, landing page. Uh, so the top here, we're going to have your, our lead gen activities, right? So this is basically our activities that we're going to be doing in order to, to capture leads and uh, generate the leads. So there's three uh, ways to do that. So um, obviously, you don't have to do all three of these methods. But I think, uh, you know, this one here, for example, the first one is free, right? Facebook Marketplace. That's a good way to get your uh, page out there, your website, and um, post on to different pages on Facebook. I mean, without spamming it, obviously, just to get the to get your word out right and try to get those leads through Facebook Marketplace, which will be a good place. Second one, obviously, the 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 main one is Google PPC. That's going to be uh the one that you know you generate the 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 better quality leads um for your niche. And then lastly, Facebook ads. Um, I like Facebook ads a lot. Um, you know, although maybe the quality quality of leads not going to be as great as Google PPC lead, but is still generate leads, guys. Okay, so from there, uh, our whole goal is to then have them click on the landing page. Once they do click on the landing page, you're gonna um have a call to action, right? So your call to action is gonna be a pop up, you know, maybe a discount code or or, or something of value that you could give uh the client or the lead, and that way they could enter their information, right? So once they enter their information, you get the welcome email SMS. Um, if they don't. Then they're going to continue down the web, uh, the the optimized landing page, right? So, so this is the top of the funnel here. Um, if you guys have any questions? Let me know on that. Uh, middle of the funnel is this one here. So, middle of the funnel is you know they're going to continue down. Um, if if for any reason they didn't um, opt in yet, they're going to continue down the the the, the website. Um, and they're going to go now to these four other types of call to actions, right? So the first one is going to be a click to call, right? So if they need that service done right away. That's probably the first option they're gonna be choosing, which is the click to call to call um, and find and get more information or get a quote, right? The second one is if they don't wanna call, there'll be a chat widget that they could uh, they click on and they could uh, um, get more information on. Uh, and then also there's a smart form too that's gonna to be on the page somewhere uh, where they could uh, input the information if they wanna get a call back or something like that, right? Uh, then lastly, if, uh, these don't work. If the first one doesn't work and these these three don't work, uh, last one will be an exit pop-up, which um, be right before the exit of the page. There'll be one last pop-up for in order to capture the lead. So you guys remember, the whole goal, guys, with having an optimized landing page is to make sure that all the traffic you're generating, all the traffic you're getting into your page to capture that information. Because if you don't capture that information, um, and if the the lead doesn't input the information, they're going to go to a different website or different a different competitor website and put their information there if they don't feel like yours is good enough, right? Or if if they if they skip out on yours. So the whole goal is to get their information on your landing page. That way, you could capture that and capture their info. Once you capture that information, guys, um, uh, then it'll go to the bottom of the funnel. But before that, if they click on all, any of these and they don't, um complete the action, then um, we call that an abandon, right? So basically from there, uh, you could take it up a different, another notch and do a Facebook retargeting ad. So a Facebook retargeting ad will be based on a pixel you'll put on that landing page. So we'll go more into detail um, later on that, but that's another option you guys could have. And then they'll get retargeted on Facebook. Uh, and then uh, from there, they'll um, uh, eventually opt in, right? That's the goal to opt in. And then um, obviously start the campaigns. Um, so here is the bottom of the funnel, guys. So this one here uh, is the bottom of the funnel. Uh, so after information is captured, 
uh, they're then going to receive a thank you email SMS or a phone call, right? The lead is going to go sent to the business owner. And this is all going to be automated, guys. So this is all automated on the back end. That way you guys don't have to do this um, uh, manually. And that's the great thing about ClicksFlow also. ClicksFlow will do this for you on the back end, guys. So uh, once that's done, uh, then obviously you got to call the lead uh, to convert it to a client or to convert it to an appointment. Um, now, this is a, another great thing about, uh, you know, kind of getting the map overview, right? If for any reason that person does not convert to an appointment, uh, you know, it's good to have systems in the back end to figure out why, right? Why didn't they convert to an appointment? What is the objection uh, that's stopping them from moving forward? And then also, if they're not in appointment today, guys, believe me, their intention is still to get that service. Uh, so the goal here is to create a campaign to uh, make sure you follow up with them and eventually then they will convert to an appointment, right? So even though it's not a business today, doesn't mean that uh, the lead is not good, right? Or or they're not going to convert. So, uh, so yeah, that's another important thing I, I think I want to stress a lot because if, if you're not following up with these leads, guys, that you're generating, that you're spending money on, uh, then they're going to go somewhere else, right? Once they're ready. And if you're not top of mind, and if you're not there in front of them, um, you know, they're not going to remember uh, to go to you. So uh, you're going to waste your money. Uh, okay. So if you guys have any questions on this, guys, let me know. Just kind of wanted to show you, you guys an overview of what we're going to be building out, uh, which is be the next uh, next video is building out this whole website uh, design uh, with these uh, different lead captures, right? So that way you have an optimized landing page and, you know, you're, you're, you're making sure that, you know, once uh, that visitor hits your website, that you're not for any reason losing that potential customer and potential income, right? Because eventually if they convert to a customer, uh, you're creating income for that business owner and also creating income for yourself. So if you guys have any questions on this, guys, let me know. Also, if you guys are interested on joining uh, or uh, subscribing to ClicksFlow, guys, there's going to be a link here to with a seven day free trial. Uh, and uh, I appreciate so much the feedback already from our last video. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for everyone that's uh, subscribed and um, are on the ClicksFlow. Uh, honestly, I, I I can't thank you enough. So, uh, guys, check it out. If you have any questions, guys, hit me up. Also, the Discord, uh, there's a link here for Discord too. Join our Discord group. Also, our Facebook group. We're, we're planning to do some of these lives too on Facebook, uh, on Zoom. And um, if you guys uh, want to join, go ahead and join. And... Um, and join the community. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.